Oh, it's video, sorry. <laughs> and I have no way of editing that out now. Thanks. Um, why do you guys choose the numbers that you have, numbers 6 and 24? My mom, when I was young, actually, I, when I started playing in line hockey when I was like 8, um, she picked the number for me, and ever since I loved it. And like last, last year with the Lady Acer, you just doubled that for 48 and then yeah. cut it back? Yeah. Okay, cool. How about you? Um, I actually, playing youth hockey on the Polar Bears, I used to be number 96, but uh, not really a very common number for college hockey, so I was number 6 uh, during high school lacrosse, that was my number, so stuck with 6. Cool. Um, what's the status of the uh, bus movie situation? Are you working on Titanic there? Been what's, the, what's the process there? Do you get to like pick as captain and then just run it by um, the coaches? or a boat with a team, whatever anybody wants to watch. Um, you got to make some compromises. <laughs> um, Lindsay, how does it... I mean, you came in in 2009 and had mm -hmm. no idea that any of this was going to be right. happening. That's pretty freaking cool, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, uh, there were rumors about it my sophomore year. And then at the end of my, in the spring of my sophomore year, we had a meeting with uh, then coach Mo Stromal, and he told us the direction the program was going, the donation from the Pugulas was um, finally made public, and all the news was coming out, and it was very exciting. So. Leaving years an NCAA hockey great, player. Yeah, I know, I never would That's pretty that. amazing. Uh, he's nicer than UConn's jerseys. Classy and I love them, so. no, you, guys, you guys don't have names on the back, right? I didn't. Oh, we do. Home. Oh, you, home, oh, home jerseys have names, okay, but not the away ones. Uh, let's see, what else do you have? Um, what do you guys, like, I know uh, Coach Godowski always talks about how he was influenced by the 80s Oilers and they like to get up and down. What, what kind of style should we look for from you guys this year? Um, as far as play? Yeah. Uh, well, we have uh, a lot of depth on our team. There's, we have 17 freshmen who just came in. So, I mean, everyone has their own individual talents and things that they specialize in. So, I think once we all once we put it all together, it's cool. a mix. You guys, it seems like, I, I don't know how you did it, but with all those freshmen, it seems like you guys have an amazing team unity so far. Yeah. Uh, is there just, do you guys do any kind of like special activities or things like that? We've had a couple of team bonding things that we've done all together, and it's really helped to bring us together as a team, and that's what good teams need is that chemistry, both on and off the ice, which will help. Um, we think you guys get to see, I don't get to see this every day, but you have the uh, the arena going up across the street there. I mean, it's got to be kind of cool to be walking by that every day. Yeah, it's awesome just to see like, the progress that it makes um, from the very beginning to now. It's just amazing how fast. Yeah, I know. It, like every time I come back here, it's just like. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's going up quickly. crazy. All right, uh, you guys. You guys excited for the first games coming up? Just awesome. a couple weeks now. Yeah. Twenty-five days. <laughs> Twenty. Really Can't wait. Awesome. Twenty-five days. Awesome. And then the home opener the week after that, right? Right. And, 13th. All right. Make sure you tell everybody to come out and see you that weekend. Come out October thirteenth and watch our home opener. Come Please come see us play October thirteenth on our Syracuse. <laughs>